Folks, what you're looking at is a 197 horsepower four-cylinder engine that puts out 184 pound-feet of torque, and it's direct injected, it's turbocharged, it's a 1.6 liter, and it's hooked up to a CVT transmission to all four wheels. Uh. Okay, Kyle, you ready, buddy? Let's do this. Sounds like a hamster on a wheel on crack. All right, zero to 60 in the Nismo Juke. I give this car a lot of, I poke it a lot, I prod it. I say bad things about it, but I really don't mean it. Let me shut the AC off here. And I have it on two-wheel drive, so I'm gonna do two-wheel drive in this run, and then four-wheel drive in the next run. I'm gonna leave traction control on because it really doesn't seem like it makes much of a difference, and I'm gonna rev it up to about uh, 3,000 RPM and take off. Let's do it. Uh, maybe not. Let's try that again. Oh, it only lets me rev up to 2,200 RPM, but we're off. Come on, come on. Ooh, that one's so good. 9.16. Mm. Here, have a look. Can you see? 9.16. I'm in all-wheel drive. I'm just going to start from around 600 RPM. Let's see what happens. I feathered into it. Wasn't as fast. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Look at this, 9.98. All right, so under the hood, we have the exact same engine that you get in Europe, which is a two liter, direct injected turbo, except in Europe, it puts out more power. Why? Well, I asked Volkswagen that when I had the chance to drive this in Europe and they said, because we're a hot country. Of course, they get the same car in Australia with the same tuning as in Europe. So I guess Australia is a cold country. Anyway, we get 256 horsepower and 243 pound foot of torque. So let's see how fast that'll do zero to 60. I know with this car, if I floor it, it'll hold three and a half. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna floor it. Oh, a little wheel spin there. There's 40, here comes 50, and I have to shift, and that's gonna slow me down. 8.86, 8.86. That's not, uh, well, that's not grand. It is a little bit hotter than when Nathan did this, but uh, I'm gonna try it one more time, see if I can get a better time than that. Um, the problem is it will not reach 60 in second gear, so I have to shift into second gear, actually into third gear, to make 60, and that's where I'm losing a lot of time. This car needs that dual clutch automatic that's available in Germany and the rest of the world because it really makes perfect use of this engine's power band. With the manual shifter, you just can't read 60 by the time you get to the end of second gear, and that is a problem for zero to 60 times. All right, I'm gonna try it one more time, see if it doesn't bog. So we got boggage, and we've got, all right, it's floored. It's a little bit better, didn't bog that time. There's a the power, there's 
Come on, and I gotta shift or it's gonna kill it. And there's 60. 8.13. That's the best I could do. 8.13. So, there you have it. 0 to 60 in 8.13 seconds in the Golf R, which is not ideal. two issues Nathan first of all it bogs a little bit yeah and secondly I can't reach 60 before hitting the red line limiter so I have to shift in the third gear and that's where the time is lost the other problem is you need that dual clutch yeah dual clutch huh yeah dual clutch Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the 348 horsepower 3.8 liter V6. It's a GDI and it puts out 295 pound-feet of torque, but most importantly for me, it's connected to a close ratio six-speed manual transmission. Pretty cool. Alright guys, 0 to 60, 6 speed, manual transmission, I should be able to reach 60 in second gear. Let's see how fast the Genesis Coupe is at a mile above sea level. Here we go, we'll give it a little bit of juice. Oh, got a little bit of wheel spin there, a little bit of a bog. There's the power, there's 5,000, and here comes 60. Not bad, not bad at all, 7.40, 7.40 which translates to, well, probably around six seconds at sea level. day long. Love this car. Yeah, I know, plastic cover. This one actually does have sound deadening material here. But this is more important. This is a two liter engine. It's an EcoBoost that's turbocharged and puts out 252 horsepower. Awesome, but better yet, 270 pound feet of torque. It's hooked up to a proper, very smooth, six-speed manual transmission, and it screams. It absolutely loves to be revved. I mean, how many times have you seen a small Ford that loved to be revved in America? I hear it's pretty quick at sea level. So that would be, I think they said between six and six and a half seconds at sea level. Oh, well, air density is different up here, folks, so it's not going to be as fast. And quite frankly, at 250 pounds and a 90 degree day, uh, I think I can get it under seven seconds. Uh, I've left the traction control on. It's the only thing you can really do. I'm gonna try to... Have the front end hook up. Here we go, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it all the way to 60. Yes. Uh, 7.35. I was able to go faster, my man, 
But unfortunately, it wasn't as fast as I wanted to go. It was 7.16. That was my fastest. Okay. Not bad at all. Here. Here. Because I can't really... See that? I don't know if it... Yep. All right, power up. Now, Nicole, when I was in college, my buddy had one of these, so I drove it everywhere, and I can't <laughs> believe I'm about to lift the hood on one that's mm. only from Europe, but here in the States. Tell them what's under the hood. You got a two liter engine. It has 265 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. And it has a dual clutch, six speed automatic transmission, and VW says it will do zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds. We're gonna try that out. We're gonna try it out <laughs> if we can find a bit of straight road. We only have about 10 minutes to drive this car, so let's go see if we can match those numbers. All right, Nicole, the road opens up here. I've got the Solo DL set up, and this is a very impromptu zero to 60. Yes. Uh, I'm thinking it's gonna be nowhere near, what did they say? Shoot, I didn't have a 7.3. I think it was 7.3. No, no, it wasn't 7.3. What was it? Close. I don't even know. Well, let's find out. Here we 5. go. 5.8, 5.8. 5. 8. 8. All right, I'm just gonna floor it. I've got the- Zero to 62. Yep, yep. That's a little bit uh, different than this. Here we go, ready? Oh, turbo lag. There comes the power. And here's 60 right there. Not bad. Well, Not bad at all. Look at this. Check it out. 6.3. Not 6 too shabby. 6.3. Now, considering that there are two of us in here. Yes. And, uh, you know, that was very impromptu and very off the cuff. I'm yes. impressed. That was not bad. Yeah, that this will, this nice will definitely too. do 5.8, if not faster. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but you know what? This car's not about straight line speed. It's about what it's like in the twisties. Twisty turnies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out what that's Let's like. Let's do more of that. All right, more of that. <laughs> I was doing 140 kilometers, whatever that means. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do in California? I got arrested. Oh, it's so speed. tight. Oh my God, it is fun. Oh, Volkswagen, please bring this car. Oh, I better slow down. Oh, you yeah. should uh, be responsible and grown up and stuff. I know. That was, uh, my heart is pounding. That was good, Nicole. That was way that good. That was very nice. Gosh. 